Hey guys, and welcome back to another A Season's How To Guide Revisited. Today we're going to talk a bit about grass, hay, and grass baling contracts. They are all drastically different. We've covered this in a how to guide, uh, but things have changed slightly since then. So I thought we would revisit this real quick and talk about how things work. So over here, we are currently involved in a grass contract. Okay. See here, we have accepted this baling mission to mow the grass field, bale it, wrap it, make silage, and take it down to the stables, sell it. We're at 20% of our completion. That is because we basically mowed our grass. We are now baling it and wrapping it. We go over here and check it with our hand tool. See, we have grass, 4,000 liters, 24 hours to go before we turn to silage because we are playing three day seasons on this particular demo game save. If you haven't seen the video on how to use the hand tool, go ahead and check that out in the Seasons How To Guide playlist. Uh, what I want to do is I want to basically take some of these grass bales down to the cell point because I want to show you guys that you don't have to wait for a baling contract. You don't have to wait for the bales to ferment into silage to basically satisfy the contract. With seasons being out for PC for a while now, there's been some misinformation from some folks related to grass contracts, and I want to clear up that misinformation before it spreads to the console players. You do not have to uh, basically have these bales ferment into silage to be accepted be accepted for a silage contract. We're not going to pick up 24. I'm just going to pick up a few. Pick up two more. Okay, so we'll haul six down there. And I'll pick you guys up once I get down to the to the bale cell point. We're down here at the bale cell point, and I want to show once again. Take a look at our contract. We are at 20% on this field. Remember, these were grass bales. Demonstrated that already. Go ahead and unload these. Now, if we check our contract, we're 28%. So you can see 9% has been transported for field 32. So if you take on a baling contract that needs to basically make silage bales, that's what most of the baling contracts are for, uh, do know you can take those wrapped grass bales down to the cell point right away and basically use them to satisfy your baling contract. Now, if you have leftover bales, which you quite possibly will have, they are still wrapped grass. You can't sell wrapped grass bales outside of redeeming them for a baling contract. You have to wait until wrapped grass basically ferments to silage, uh, which is going to take one season's transition to do. Before they are silage bales. Once they're silage bales, you can sell the silage bales. But you can't sell wrapped grass. You can't sell grass bales. Okay? Grass bales are useless except for wrapping them and using them for grass or for silage. Now let's talk about the different types of grass. We have obviously have uncut grass. That's pretty straightforward grass that's growing in the field. We have wet grass, 
semi dry grass, hay. Those are the three types of mowed grass. Wet grass is when you mow grass while it is what? Wet. Grass is wet when it has a percentage greater than 20%. Basically, when we have the wet crop icon. Up there in the top corner, you can see we have the wet crop icon. We check the moisture. We are at 30% crop moisture. So if we mow grass now, we're going to get wet grass. Wet grass looks like this. Looks like normal, unseasoned grass. Let's go over here and uh, let's buy field buy field 46 because it's close to the shop and we're going to need to get some equipment. Okay, so I'm going to come back to you once we're down at field 46 because I'm going to demonstrate some things. So we're over here on field 46. Like I said earlier, I've got the mower over here. I've got a tether, and I've got a baler. Okay, so once again, we're going to check the moisture. Sitting at 30% crop moisture. We're going to mow a strip, short strip here. Then we're going to try to run the tether through it and see what happens. So we're leaving it in a windrow. We can change it to a wide swath. Left control one. Right side side. Okay, so we're leaving it as a swath now. That should be good. Over here with our tether. Again, remember that is semi dry, or not semi dry, that is wet grass because we have the wet crop icon. We ted wet grass, it is changing color. Now, in non-seasons gameplay that is hay okay that is not hay that is semi-dry grass okay prove it we are clearly over what looks like hay if it wasn't with seasons let's turn it on and you can see according to the baler down there we're picking up grass okay as far as the baler is concerned there's no difference between semi dry grass and wet grass it's still going to produce a grass bale. We go ahead and get enough here to eject the bale. Give it to me not to mow enough. Okay, this is a grass bale. You can see fill type grass. Go to our little MT9 tool. It's a grass bale. That is because that is wet grass. That is semi-dry grass. Completely forget about the fact that that's hay without seasons and that is grass without seasons. Both of these are grass with seasons. One on the left is wet grass. One on the right is semi-dry grass. Only way to get semi-dry grass out of wet grass is to use header. The only way to get wet grass 
is to mow the grass when it is above 20% or when the wet crop icon is showing. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward time now, get this to a point in time where we don't have wet grass, and then we're going to mow the grass again, and we're going to see that what we get out of the back of the mower is not this shade, it is that shade. We get semi-dry grass out of the mower when it is below 20% crop moisture. So we fast forward time, it is now 6 in the evening. You see the wet crop icon is gone. We are at 19% crop moisture. Get back into our mower. We're just going to turn it on and just drive forward. And you see now we are outputting what looks to be hay. Because we're used to that looking like hay, right? Well, but it's not hay. That there is semi-dry grass. So what we're going to do is we're going to spin it here. Put a bit on the ground. So we can demonstrate some things. Should be good. Get back in our tether. Turn our tether on. Again, the dark green is wet grass. The light is semi-dry grass. We can convert wet grass to semi-dry grass with a tether. What we cannot do is we cannot convert semi-dry grass to hay with a tether. See, that is doing nothing. That is because the only way to convert semi-dry grass to hay is to let time pass, let the sun dry it out, let nature happen, if you will. Nature will turn this from semi-dry grass into hay all on its own. Prove that point. Let's bail some up. Make sure we don't get any of the dark stuff. I don't need anybody saying we had the wrong product. We're still picking up grass. All grass. Seasons tool. It is a grass bale. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to advance time into tomorrow and we're going to see this change from semi dry grass to hay. A whole new color. Lots of folks say it looks a lot like straw, but it becomes hay right before our eyes. Let's go ahead and fast forward time. All right, guys, so we had a little bit of bad luck in that overnight we had some rain from when we mowed it till the next day. Grass did not dry overnight, uh, so we actually had to move into another day. Uh, and as a result, some of our grass disappeared, uh, but we do have hay now. We actually had some grass growth because of the fact that I'm on three-day seasons. Just things just happen kind of quickly, but I did that on purpose. Here we have our grass bale, but we have lost volume because grass rots on the field. Grass will rot in a bale. So, like I said, baling grass is useless at this point. So don't do it in seasons unless you're going to wrap it into silage. Now, you see we're making hay. See the color has changed. Now making hay. 
All we did was let the grass sit out on the field long enough. But yeah, we kind of had some bad luck because we did get some rain. This is our hay bale. Okay, so that is kind of a quick and dirty recap again of how grass works. If you mow grass, like we have right now, wet crop icon, you get you get wet grass. I keep wanting to say semi-dry grass. You get wet grass. Doesn't matter if it's a swath or a windrow, you're gonna get wet grass. You fast forward time until the wet crop icon is gone. And now we mow it. You're going to get semi-dry grass. It's still technically grass, as we've demonstrated. If we let time pass on its own, that semi-dry grass is going to turn to hay. The wet grass will not turn to hay. It will stay wet grass until we tet it. And then once we tet it, it will become semi-dry grass. Once it's semi-dry grass, we have to let time pass before it will turn to hay. This particular geo, this particular game save is being a little problematic with me. Keep getting wet crop overnight. It must have a little bit of rain or just a heavy dew overnight and it's causing the grass not to dry. Demonstrations really work better when you have a longer season duration. And it looks like we've got hay anyway. Any anyway. But our wet grass never turned to semi-dry. It never turned to hay. So again, the moral is if you mow grass when it's wet, you get wet grass. Wet grass never changes state unless you tet it. Once you tet it, it will become semi-dry grass. Only way for semi-dry grass to convert to hay is basically for time to pass. Enough time has to pass that the grass dries out enough that it turns to hay. Depending on the time of year, you'll have different drying, drying potential. Let's check that. We haven't talked about that at all. Drying potential is based on the season. Summer, you have more sun. You have a higher drying potential than you have in autumn. Spring and winter, you basically have probably very little drying potential. Wind plays into drying potential. A zero represents neutral drying potential. Minuses represent bad drying potential i.e. snow, rain. Pluses represent positive drying potential. Guys, I hope that helps clarify grass work up a little bit. I know our demonstration was a little faulty uh, because we're on three-day seasons and we were just getting a lot of rain with this particular weather forecast. But in general, you get the gist, right? If you mow wet grass, i.e. you have the wet crop icon, you get wet grass on the ground. Wet grass only converts to semi-dry grass if you use a tether. Once you have semi-dry grass, either by mowing grass that's not wet or by tetting wet grass, you've got to let that semi-dry grass sit on the field. Don't touch it. Pet it. Don't windrow it. Don't touch it. Because if you touch it with a piece of implement, it basically resets the drying time. Once you put semi-dry grass on the ground, be it in a windrow or a swath, leave it. Leave it until it turns into hay. Once it changes color and it's hay, you can windrow it all you want. It's not going to change back. Bail it. Get it off the field. Because if you're playing on a map with a snow mask, hay will rot if it rains as will straw. Grass always rots, no matter what, as we have demonstrated. 
Back to our grass bale. Don't know where it is. Don't know where either grass bale is because they've rotted away. This hay bale has been out here in the rain. It should have a lower volume. As a result, some of it has rotted away because it has been out here in the rain. Guys, let me know in the comments. Does that clarify things with respect to how grass now works, how hay now works with seasons? For the new to seasons gameplay, it's probably going to take a little bit of time and a little bit of experimentation to really get a grasp on the timing of things. So until next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.